Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a sticker haul for you and it's going to be quite big I think. So there are timestamps linked down below but otherwise let's get straight into it. We've got foil, we've got kits, we've got planners, we've got Michael's stuff so let's go. So I have two orders here from Caress Press. I think the foil I think I got with this and oh, no, I got the foil with that. And I got all the monthly kits because sadly Caress Press is closing. I'm not sure if she's still open at the time of this, but she has been running a sale to clear her stock. Um, yeah, so I she brought out the year's worth of monthlies. So I thought I'd just show you guys to see what I picked up. I don't film monthly stuff. Um, yeah, so after this I'm just going to go and play with my monthlies and put it all down. So let's go straight through everything I've got here. I've got all the monthlies and I've got a kit and some foil. So here's one of my freebies. Sorry, remember I'm a manual, but yeah. One of my freebies. And it just has time to declutter, laundry day, trash day, clean the bathroom. Just a cute little functional freebie there. And then this is the foil that I picked up. She has the same manufacturer. Oh no, I did leave autofocus on. That's all right. She's the same manufacturer as SBC, so her foils match as well, which I really liked. In her sale, I picked up a whole bunch of foil. So, um, but this is her um, autumn release. So first we have these little autumn um, overlays. I love the little pumpkin spice latte. So I got that in gold, rose gold. She has that pink rose gold, which is great. Silver and hollow. I'm going to miss being able to get this rose gold from another shop, but I will. Oh, well. Then I got the bottom overlay of the full leaves and pumpkins, and this is like a whole one. And it is a very busy pattern, but I thought if I was using like half-half, like if I trim this down on the bottom washi, it won't be so bad. But we'll see. Um, and then we have like a half box cover as well. And I just got that in gold. Rose gold, silver, and hollow, which you can really see here. So pretty. But yeah, that was a little foil order from Caress Press. And then I picked up the full kit of Haunt Me Boo. I just thought um, Darcy the artist killed it at Halloween this year. We got the what comes with the kit, this little date dots. I, I also got another one of these freebies. I picked up the glitter head add-on and this is the full kit. So the front page when Crest Press does it is this, but I like to put the full boxes on the front. But the art is so pretty, I love these colours. Uh, look at this art. It's gorgeous. I love this sort of room scene here with all the piles of candy. You have the spooky magic magazine. Just super duper pretty. Can't wait to use this. Um, but yeah, it's just with her usual um, layout and I get premium matte. But I just thought I'd show this off. Yeah, it's super duper pretty. I love that bottom washi with the black and the stars. So pretty. So that was Haunt Me Boo from um, Grass Press, the full kit. So I just put all this stuff back in. There we go. Um, and then the monthly kits. So I'm just gonna, t I gotta take them all out anyway um, so I can play with them. But yeah, let's take this out. So this is the freebie that I got with the monthly's order. Just like a little full um, bucket list. So cute. But yeah, I'll show you the proper like format for one kit and then just go through the others. So this is September and she had two, two choices for this in October, but only one for November and December. Um, but yeah, so I picked up two of the um, sidebars, the checklist because I like to cut off one um, and use that and then I get the nice decorative sidebar and I put that over the top of the, well I, I trim that as well and I put that um, instead of the calendar 
which I like. So there's a little bit more functionality, but still I don't need a full checklist. Then I also got the, um, it comes with this freebie with the, well not freebie, it comes with deco, date numbers, and the cover of some of the boxes obviously need to be covered that the kit doesn't already serve. Then I got the, yeah, I just think it's a really pretty, um, yeah, September kit. I can't remember what the other one was, but I wasn't super into it. So I got the purple one with the books. So you see there, it's just a three page with those little extras. You get all the holidays. But yeah, love this. I've just been using the same, um, just her kits all year. So I'm glad that she released the rest before she closed. So I continue that, but October I chose this art. The other one was the Wicked art, but I have that as a kit, which I might or might not use. So I decided to pick up this one, um, which was my art actually from last year. So I got the two there. Doesn't need any extra full boxes, it seems, So um, or date cover-ups. So uh, it just has the deck on the numbers. You said the kitchen scene here. And then like the pie and everything is super bright and vibrant on her paper. Love that. So something less spooky for October because I'm having a lot of spooky kits during my weeks. And then she just had the one option for November and December. So I picked up the, so this is what I got, the sort of Snow Whitey one. Really pretty, super like awe to me. Which is perfect for me because now I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. I actually do get the um, the seasons correct. So I love that. And then December is a really pretty um, soft watercolory one. So cute. I love all the candy canes. And then we got the um, checklist here. Just a cute little fairy ballerina and some deco. So that is everything I have from Caress Press. I think I'm only going to have one more Caress Press haul from here, the foil. But otherwise, that's it. So sad, but I love her stuff and maybe one day she will reopen. But yeah, that was my stuff from Caress Press. I have this small order from Sadie Stickers. She did a $2, well, a foil Tuesday for um, autumn. So I stocked up on a few of these things. So first of all, she had these pumpkin date dots. They just have one month, but they're like little pumpkins. So I picked those up in all four. So we have rose gold, we have silver, we have gold, and we have hollow. Now I know hollow is not usual, um, like autumn color, but I do have some hollow, um, <clears throat> Halloween stuff, so I wanted to pick those up just in case. Same with these bottom washi pumpkins. So you have the 15 millimeter strip, one with um, filled in pumpkins and one with line. So I got these in the four as well. Like they're gonna be so perfect, especially with the pumpkin patch kit that I drew for SBC. That'd be so great, and all Halloween as well. So we got hollow. We have rose gold. We have silver. And we have gold. Love those. And then I just picked these up in the classic three because I didn't want to use any of these with Halloween for some reason. I don't know. I should have gone hollow, but I will. <laughs> so these are some over bo uh, full box overlays with um, quotes. So sort of whether it's full of the magic or full and gobble to your wobble. I have that rose gold, silver, and gold. Probably won't use the gobble to wobble because I don't have Thanksgiving, obviously. Um, but yeah, just love this little order from Sadie Stickers. Her $2 Tuesdays are the best. There's also some foil from Simply Watercolor Co. This is her Simply Foil Tuesday, foiled Tuesday, so they're not technically all going to be $2. I can't remember what each sheet was. Um, but yeah, I picked up a couple of different things. I think she threw this in. So this is the freebie of my order, some half box overlays. You can kind of see there that they're for half boxes. In silver, just really cute. I love the 
one with the string lights. Then I think she threw this in for me, these gold bows. Really, really pretty. I got some more um, uh, 15 millimeter overlays. She doesn't have any like extra stuff here, which is a bit disappointing because she could have filled that area in, but I suppose Sadie stickers didn't either. But these were like cool bats, so I thought they'd be really fun. So I got hollow, silver, rose gold, and gold. Now you can really see a difference in gold and rose gold there. But yeah, love these. I love bats, so I had to pick up a set of those. And then she had these tiny little pumpkins. Really cute, they'll just be like little tiny, tiny deco. They're all circles, um, but it's clear paper, so but decorated little pumpkins everywhere. Then I got some full box overlays of spider webs. Um, there's a little black, couple of black dots here in the silver sheet, but overall it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so these are full box overlays. You also have hollow. You have rose gold, which is probably the worst foiling actually you can see like little bits there and in there I don't know it's just a little bit broken up but I didn't use rose gold too much so it's not too bad the gold is perfect so that is good look at those and then I got more pumpkin-y ones I like how these are just little so they were just sort of um, I didn't get hollow in these either I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered all these but these are tiny little pumpkins Although they'd be cute for just adding little sprinkles. We have gold, we have rose gold, which does have some black bits in it, and we have silver. And then she had all of these little deco dots. You can get a ton of these. These are definitely not $2, um, but they're so cute. I love them. I just love all the Halloween itty bitty bits. And I got them in all four foil colors. They're beautiful. These ones are well foiled, so I'm really happy with those little candy canes and ghosts and things. So that was my Simply Foiled Tuesday order from Simply Watercolor Co. And I am overall very happy with it, but yes, then it's not a $2 Tuesday, it's just a foiled Tuesday. So be mindful of that. Next, I've had this order from Once More Love for a while, and I've been picking at it, um, yeah. So I apologize for that, so let's get this hold so I can put it away and continue using it because I love everything. So I got the wedding postcard. I think I bought this just after the wedding sale. Um, but it's beautiful. I love Mark. I was just waiting for a good time money-wise to order. But I got the Happy Mail sheet. I've already used one, but I love this new updated sheet. I got the like washi hair wash 3.01s. They're just so cute. Um, just whenever I have a really good scrub, I do, you know, shower more often, and I yeah, I take a while to wash my hair. So, for a really good scrub, I can't get enough of you. I just thought these are really cute, little um, couple ones. I love the smooshing face. They're just so cute. Then I got the under the sea Aladdin ones. Obviously, used some of this sheet. I was using a lot of things for my Disney spreads. I got a whole new world. I can't wait to use these. Just like in in lieu of other icons, like um, Andrea and, and Jessica have done. Like so, I'm doing an Aladdin spread soon. So this will be perfect for that. Then I got the Lion King one. I'm not a huge. I'm, oh, I love the Lion King music the most. Um, but I thought I might as well pick it up for whenever, because you never know. Then I used quite a lot of the Toy Story ones for all the Toy Story rides at Disneyland and California Adventure. Um, yeah, so those are really cute. Then I got, um, yes, Tales All This Time, the Beauty and Beast ones. Oh, and this was my order freebie. Really cute, I love the little Moana. Uh, and the also be in a blanket on the couch, which has been me lately because summer is over here. <laughs> it's full on autumn. Um, I got these heartbreak ones because I'm sad all the time, so it's perfect. I think I have problems, y'all. Anyway, and I got the dabbing ones, which I know is kind of weird. They're pretty funny that she made dabbing ones, 
but they make me think of this gaming channel called Triple Jump. Uh, I love those boys. Peter and Ben. Ben loves to dab sometimes. <laughs> he does it in a really silly way, but it just makes me think of Triple Jump. So when I watch their streams and their videos and more big events, I wanted to mark them and see if I've done that for a stream that I watched. So yeah, I had I got those for Triple Jump. Definitely check them out. I love them. They're British boys and they're so nice and they're not jerks. <laughs> they respect women, thank God. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's my recommendation. But yeah, that is my little order from What's More With Love. I have like three more orders coming. I've gone nuts. She's gone crazy. Andre is mummaging her and getting her to do the illustration. So I'm really happy because my munchkins are overflowing now. So I got an extra Once More With Love order in. It's very small, so I'm going to insert it here now. So I got this card, which is so cute. Time to trust the magic. <laughs> Such an adorable card. Oh, Mog is so sweet and so cute. Sorry about Heidi's sleeping up here. So. Um, this is the freebie that I got, Back to Basics for August. Super cute range of functionals. Then I just got four sheets here from this little release. Um, I got the new Zombies, Zombie 2.0s. I've almost actually finished up my original zombie sheet, so I definitely had to pick one of these up. And I like their lighter pastel -y colors. It'll go with more kits. And I just love using zombies like when I'm feeling like nauseous or when I'm super tired or just confused. You know, many different uses for zombies. <laughs> then I got Grocery Shopping 2.0 which I love the original and this new one is so good. I love it. The colors do seem a bit softer as well and then you've got a whole range of um, little munchkins there. Of course I had to pick up the Haunted Mansion um, sheet. Uh, Mark was actually there with Andrew when I sent the Haunted Mansion art to her and they were like, and I was like, we really need Haunted Mansion munchkins. <laughs> Uh, which Andre was trying to get her to do as well, I think. And they came out so good. I love like the Doom Buggy. And just, I'm going to totally use this for random stuff in my Haunted Magic spread. And also perfect for next time I go to Disney. <laughs> and then what's this, which is A Nightmare Before Christmas. Such a cute sheet. I love the boogie um, is in a onesie. <laughs> so cute. So I'll definitely be using this when I watch the film. That was the little What's More With Love order that I just wanted to add on that I got in the mail today. Alright, I got my Paper Shire order. Paper Shire used to be Toffee Bananas and she rebranded to a more... a name that suited her better, I think. Um, well, in her mind, I think that's what she said. Toffee Bananas was like a temporary name. And um, yeah, so I got a whole bunch of stuff here, especially her food doodles, which I love. But you usually get a few freebies, and this time she's marked them because they used to not be marked, and you're like, wow, I have so many freebies. So all orders would come with this freebie when I ordered. Um, she's in the UK, so it wasn't too long ago. But you get a whole bunch of food flat lays like cooking steak and um, capsicums, Dutch baby pancake. Uh, you've got like curry here, it looks like. Um, udon noodles and things. So really nice. Then the 10 pound freebie uh, was this sort of, um, uh, like so it's a dessert sheet, I guess. So you have like parfaits and those bowls and waffles and crepes and cupcakes. Such a pretty sheet. And then the £20 freebie that I got, apparently I paid that, <laughs> I've spent that much, which is crazy. It's like a breakfast sheet, so you get like different toasts, avocado toast, although I haven't found any good avocado in um, Finland yet, although we did find a good guacamole, but that's different. It's not an avocado, but I can still make this with guacamole. Then you have like bagels, and then like more cooked um breakfast there. So really nice to have a selection of that. And then these are the sheets that I got. I got the Plan With Me flat lays, 
we were actually filming a plan with me and I thought that'd be really cute like to put down and then put like a film over the tub. I thought that'd be really neat to um, mark when I do plan with me is because they do take out a chunk of time or when I edit them even um, since I'm going to be doing plan as I go so maybe edit. Um, and then I got these kitty pencil cases just because I thought they were so cute. I love this like clear pencil case here as well. I don't know what I use it for but I liked it. <laughs> then I got the planner cut which is awesome. I have one obviously like this and um, they're not too big actually which is nice but I thought I'd mark this when I'd organize stickers and my planner cut, things like that. Got the popsicles because ice creams are the best and they look really cute and would go with lots of spreads. I got the taco board because I have a lot of tacos. <laughs> I'm all about the taco life. So this is a really cute thing. I like how she is like the smaller size. Then I got the burger box of course. I love the way this looks. It's so cute and will go with so many spreads. And I love burgers so this would be perfect. I got the strawberry lemonade mostly because I thought these glasses could look like gin drinks or other kind of drinks other than beer or wine. So I thought that would be useful for that as well as you know, you could just mark lemonades or so many things when it's summer. And then I got the hot wings because we have wings all the time. You can buy really good pre-done um, chicken wings that you put in the oven here and we have it all the time. <laughs> and we make blue cheese dressing because blue cheese is really big here. So There's also a restaurant here called Sticky Wingers which is like a wings place so definitely get use out of the wings stickers. And then I decided to get the food doodle samplers, which are fairly big. Sorry for this cat, but you can see there. And um, yeah, so it just has a whole selection of the food. Because some of these I don't need a whole sheet of, but it's good to have um, them on hand just in case. And I got the sweet food one as well, and I got a whole bunch of matcha things here. And, because you never know what you might eat once. So that is my order from Papershire. Love her shop and her doodles. Definitely recommend. As per usual, we got the big giant stack of Scribble Prince Co. So let's go straight into this. We're going to do freebies, a foil, and then we're going to go through one of the kits properly and then talk about the other kits. And then we will do the August mystery because I'm super behind. So I got two journaling cards. I think I got a double. Anyway, I'm so happy I got the haunted magic journaling card. Oh, I love this. I love it. I mean, I drew it, but I love it. It looks just the way she put it together. It looks so amazing. Love these new cards. And then I got this lettering one with hollow. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Beautiful. So ha very happy with those journaling cards. Then some freebies that I got were some little skull decos. I didn't get any candies, but it's okay. I got these little skulls. They'll be really cute in silver and rose gold. I got Emily Catherine Plans promo. So adorable. I love the sprinkle covers. Um, those are probably one of my favorites. So cute. Thank you, Emily. And then I got the 75 plus freebie in hollow. It's hard to see. You can kind of see the design there. Yeah, I just cut this up and put this into my holo collection. Then I got a bunch of scripts. Let's go through these. Um, holo's on, usually on the top, you can't really see it, so I'll put it down. First we have a study day, because my gosh, I need to study more. Then I got some new paydays in silver and gold, because I've been using them up, and they're beautiful. I got two of each a film edit upload youtuber because I realized I went through these like crazy and I love them so I got a whole bunch more of those so I wouldn't run out because there's only one two three four on each sheet and if you film edit upload multiple times well then you need multiple sheets next on the pile of foil are these Christmas, um, oh, Christmas, <laughs> Halloween film scripts. Let me get to silver, there we go. So we have a bunch of Halloween films here, which is so exciting. I love that there's Casper. That's my favorite one. 
Um, there's quite a few on here. I really like how there's Rocky Horror too. I love Rocky Horror. Adam's Family, I also love that. So I got these in all four foils because you never know what spread you're going to like watch them in. So yeah, I'm really happy with those. I do have my own in my Halloween one. And I have slightly different, like I have Practical Magic, Adam's Family 2, Scary Movie. So slightly different ones. So both of them together will be really useful to have during pretty much movie me movie season. <laughs> then I kept picking, pick, kept forgetting to pick these up, these mini deco hearts. And yeah, I just love them and I finally remembered to put them in my cart and actually buy them. So I got them in all the foils, but yeah, you have a little open heart and a little filled in heart. Then she brought out, Andrea brought out this um, Halloween sampler sheet. And she um, and I did it in all four foils, but she did it in um, for Thanksgiving or ha autumn as well. But you just have two overlay box, box overlays. You have some deco little bats, spiders, the cat in the coffin, and then these are a set of headers with little ghosts. So I thought they'd be cool to add in. I just got, I got all four. It's just easy to get all four, really. Um, and then I got some of the chunky glitter um, bottom washi overlays. So they just like, I really like these to put on the second ones. So it's like a little foil overlay over the pattern. Really pretty. And then she brought down prices of the bougie boxes. So I thought I would give them a go. I have to look what I've got in here. Can't remember. Alright, so you need 3.5, three and a half sheets for a week. So what I did is, um, so really four. So I got eight of the silver, so that's two weeks and eight of the gold, and I got four, so one week worth of the hollow. Because um, I don't want to do it every week just yet, but I want to start building up the Bougie Box collection. Um, I've already got the Gobus Anna tapes, so this is just sort of an add-on from that, but I thought I'd try them out because they did go down in price, and yeah, I wanted to get a few for my collection, so I got a little bit of a stack. Um, and then I also picked up um, the 15 millimeter marble washi because I thought that could be really useful. Like it would go with many kits. And then I picked up an extra label set for the tangled theme, um, flower dreams I think it is, uh, because I got the mini kit and after using a mini kit with just one of these, it just wasn't enough for me. So I picked up a second one for that because I plan to use that kit in March. So I wanted to make sure I had it before it's all gone. And then I got this sticker rack. So let's have a look. So I got some sparkler Celeste. So they're holding little sparklers. Uh, the um, Fashion Girls from the um, mystery kit that I didn't actually get. I think there was two or three I didn't get. They're really pretty. I got some day extender boxes. I guess because they're like, uh, there's like a mark there, I guess. But yeah, can't go wrong with day extenders. They got fashion girls for that desert chic kit or something. Interesting. And I got the top monthly set. Oh, that's cool. So this is for the monthly kit from the Magic 2.0 art, and this has like the top, the two top strips, which is really cool. So I could actually do a makeshift monthly if I wanted to do that. But that was my rack. That's a pretty good rack, I think. Right, so now we're going to get into the kits. I'm really just going to like show off the first kit. I mean, if you can just watch Andrea's new release videos, but um, I've got Four, one, five kits here that I bought and the mystery. So these are all ultimate kits because I've just decided that mini kits are just not for me. 
unless it's a mini kit exclusive and I have no choice. But first I picked up Sunset Plans from my back to school art. And I think um, it'd be just be good to use as a transitional autumn kit. So this is pretty much all my kits are like planned. They have weeks already in my planner. Because um, I'm trying to limit my purchases at the moment. And yeah, I think it'd be good for a work week working on my thesis. So really the colours she chose, I kind of did two. They could do a, like a more neutral set or more colourful set. And she went with the more neutral scene. And she pulled out more the deep orange over the yellow, which I think is really pretty. I mean, I love the, uh, the yellow too. I was really happy with the colours from this kit, so... This is a beautiful, beautiful, bright kit. Uh, yes. Ah, I was so happy with this set. I thought it was so cute. And the extra girl with the, like the pom pom jacket, uh, jumper. Yay, yeah, so I have she used my little leopard print. I love that. We yeah, are super happy with this set and I think it'll be perfect for a good work week. So it's nice and simple in the bottom while she just with marble. Um, and that's a kit freebies of the munchkins. And then I also picked up the glitter headers, obviously, and the 15mm, which I think is a really cool ombre, so I can't wait to play with that. And then I picked up both sets of fashion uh, extra full boxes. So we've got like the back to school school one because I thought it'd be cute to use and I really wanted to use the backpack with the full raven kankin. Um, and I really love the set of the books and everything but yeah I thought I could get a use out of them. And I got the fashion girls as well because I love the curvy girl and the girl in the wheelchair. Those are my favourite art so I picked those up to try and mix and match in this set. But yeah I was super duper happy with this set and everyone made amazing versions of it. I just usually pick up the SPC because that's what I'm used to using. But yeah, love the sunset plans. Then I got a pumpkin patch which was an exclusive set that I did. It had some other extras as well. So it's the usual little munchkin freebie. Yeah, these are the full boxes. It got a little bent in the shipping. Oh well. Um, that's from my US, not from SBC. But it's just a fun little pumpkin patch kit. Um, and I really liked the colors of this sort of mustardy pumpkin orange with the navy and pink. So there you've got there in the colors. Some plaid as the patterns. This pumpkin spice a latte. Yeah, I think this will be really cute for autumn. I don't have a lot of autumn this year. Um, I am mostly, I got mostly Halloween, honestly. <laughs> got the um, mustard orange 15 millimeter. I did pick up the extra labels, just because I really do like um, fancy labels. And then I also picked up the glitter headers as well as the full sheet of family boxes. So you could pick the different skin tones. So I picked number two, which is like olive with brown hair. And not for any particular reason, but I really love this fashion girl in the olive colorway with the lit dark lipstick. I think looks, she looks super cute. So that's why I included her. Um, mostly to use that. Maybe I'll use the double box. We'll see. But um, so you pretty much have two sets of full boxes with that. But yeah. Really excited to use this as well as with all those pumpkin overlays. I think it'll be so cute. Next I picked up Halloween and I decided to pick this up. Um, it was an early Halloween kit and it's another exclusive but drawn by the other exclusive artist. And I loved how it's like a party and you had like the black and I love this Wednesday girl and the witch. And I thought it'd be perfect for my birthday week because it's a party theme. Um, so yeah, I'm using this for my birthday, which if you didn't know is October 16th. So I'm looking forward to all my presents. No. <laughs> From my viewers. No, I joke. Um, but yeah, I thought this was so cute. I was like, hollow, and I love the purple and the pastels. And I just thought it'd be such a cute week for my birthday and so party themed. So yeah. 
thought that'd be really fun to use. And there are little spiders in here, and if you know me, <laughs> and know me from last Halloween, I am not a fan of spiders. And they, but I kind of love the little pops of black in here. And now that I've moved to Finland, I'm not as afraid of spiders as much because the spiders here are pathetic <laughs> compared to Australia, so it's not so bad. So I, I can live with it. So the freebie there, the 15 millimeter with the purple. Um, I'm trying to think whether I want to use hollow bats or pumpkins with this. What to decide. Um, and then I have the label add-on, just you know, it's my birthday week, so. And the ha the hollow um, glitter, because I thought that'd be super fun with this. So that is the Halloween kit for my birthday. And of course, I had to pick up Haunted Mansion. Based of Haunted Mansion. So this was, again, exclusive art that I did for SPC. And the funny thing about this is I got the, like, mood board and everything for this before I'd ever even been. Um, I've been to Disneyland in Tokyo, but I never went on Haunted Mansion. I, I never really, like, investigate the, you know, research this stuff, but... Uh, I decided Disneyland, yes, I gotta go on Haunted Mansion after making this kit. Um, so I did actually watch a ride through of someone in Haunted Magic because, uh, in Haunted Mansion, because there's some things on the mood board list that I was like, I don't know, what what is Crystal Ball? What is Coffin and Skeleton coming out of it? <laughs> I had to really, I had to look up the ride to see what was in this. So I drew this before ever going on Haunted Mansion, just so you know. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that. It is the Disney World version, um, but I went on the Disneyland one and I loved it. And I love how this kit came out. Andrea just puts things together so well. I love like the extra um, gold glitter and she did these like little, you can see these colorful outlines around the elements so there's even more pops of color I just love that I'm so excited to use this I am using this and the all the gold um, extras there I'm gonna use this on um, Halloween week because I think that would be perfect and look I put all this spider web like on the candelabra which I was super proud of <laughs> um, and I love these little square boxes I can't wait to play with those this Halloween, but yes, it's going to be Halloween week. I think it's going to be amazing. We got some little ghouls here and everything. Ghost host. And the bottom washi, oh, I love these new date covers. They are gorgeous. And yeah, I, I recreated that pattern from Haunted Match in the wallpaper. A bit more of like a sketchy style. So I think that looks really cool. Um, so of course we also have the Munchkin Freebie, the 15mm, I love this green. Um, the glitter headers and the, samp the label sampler because I could. So that is Haunted Magic. God, Halloween's going to be good this year. So many amazing kits. Alright, and the last kit that I bought was Brave. So, um, I'm not a huge fan, if you know me, and Andrea hates this, <laughs> she thinks I'm the worst. But I'm not a huge fan of Pixar um, and Pixar films. I don't know, I just, I have a strong allegiance to Disney Animation Studios. I'm just going to say that. Uh, and I find that most of their films are like male-led and I don't really like, I'm not a huge fan of that. But I thought Brave was really cute. I'm kind of sad that Peter Lasseter are like meddled with it and kind of ruined Brenda Strong's who wrote this originally wrote this and was filming and stuff um directing it but he like totally stepped in and changed the whole thing and it's just it's super sad because it could have been like even better than it was but I still love Brave and I thought this would be a gorgeous kit for late autumn so I'm planning for this in November um yeah just thought it'd be really pretty I love the oranges and this blue is gorgeous. I love like the reimagining of it as well. And this girl, really pretty. This is the other exclusive artist, so this is also exclusive art. But yeah, so I thought this would be really nice, even though I'm not that into 
the Pixar films, but I thought Brave was cute. Um, and you know, she's part of the princess gang, so why not? And that would be perfect for autumn. So those are the four boxes. I also picked up the 15mm, which got a little crumbled. That'll be okay. I'll straighten out. And the glitter headers. And I got the little munchkin freebie. I didn't get the label sample with this, but... Whatever. I think this will be so beautiful. So now we have the August Mystery. I have seen the unboxing, um, the reveal, but I tried to avoid it in other people's hauls. It's just so, you know, I can have my own opinion. So I do get the ultimate because you get all the freebies. The mini does not, really. I think it has the glitter headers. Is that it? Maybe the label sampler. Um, okay. So... That's all with the kit. So with the ultimate you get, well I think this one comes with the mini as well. This cute journaling card and she just describes what comes in it. So you get these tall fashion girls of these um, fairies which are super pretty. I love how like soft they are. You also get 15 millimeter glitter headers and the sa label sampler. You also get an entire wiggle, and this is the rose gold wiggle. Is it the same as normal rose gold? I just want to double check. Because she's had a different, few different. Yeah, that's her normal rose gold. So if you didn't have rose gold to begin with and you want to use it for this kit, then you have it. But also, you have a whole bunch of standard items here, which will be great for the rose gold collection. Um, but yeah, you get a whole wiggle, and I love these inverted bows. Those are my new favorites. But yeah, super pretty. Such a generous inclusion. Um, so that's all the freebies. And then the ultimate kit, you get the freebie munchkins, and it is a woodland theme. It is really pretty in person. I wasn't sure about the reveal. I was kind of like, meh. But it's super pretty in person. Like, the artist does flowers so nicely. That is like, I'm, I'm still of the opinion I'm not very good at flowers, so those are gorgeous. I love these like jewel, um, little jewel, like uh, a jew, you know, the droplets. This would be really cute as like a makeshift Thumbelina kit, you know, like Don Bluth's Thumbelina, and like the melting icicle kind of feeling. When she becomes a fairy herself at the end. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> Can you spoil Thumbelina? But, oh man, I love the Thumbelina film. Even though she's really annoying um, when you watch it as an adult. This could be a really cute Thumbelina kid. But when she becomes a fairy. And you even have like the little red-headed fairy. So that could be Thumbelina. Hmm. It is very pretty and soft though. And then you have like the wood um, scene at the bottom. Hmm. It's an interesting kit. I do like it. I think I just have it in my collection anyway. But yeah, the full boxes are way are really gorgeous in real life. Like the colors are really warm and vibrant. Well, yeah, I'm into it. I'm okay with it. Not 100% love, but I'm gonna have to try and find some space in this, obviously, in spring. Hmm, sometime in spring. Maybe April. Because um, spring takes a while in Finland. But that is the August mystery. And that is everything I have from Scribble Prints Co. So I finally got my Aura Estelle Sicily. Um, I had it shipped. I pre ordered, pre ordered it with my friend. And the first estimate it would have been fine for me to get in Australia. So I sent it to my friend's address in Australia. And of course it got delivered like two, one, two weeks tops after I'd left Australia. So my friend um, brought it to, with her to the US. So luckily we were doing that trip so she could give me the Cecily. So this is Oristel Cecily and it 
got it with the leather lo extra long strap, which at 5'9", it does fit well. So I'm happy with that. Um, this, it is like for the Hobo Weeks, and it's also a purse and a bag. And then I had to get the extra um, accessory because the D rings facing inwards ended up not working out. Sorry, it's all black, so you can't really see. I got the all black one. Um, and then this accessory was sent to me in Finland, so I had to wait a while. But I can use it as a bag now if I want. Now I've got all the pieces. And you see here, I do have my hobo in it. It's kind of destroyed from Splash Mountain. Um, Yes, yeah, so that just fits in here in the pocket. Now you can really see that texture. It is a really beautifully made um, purse planner cover. You have some strings here to fit in inserts, another pocket here, pocket there. All these card pockets are really easy to use uh, and really nice. Sometimes they're like tough to get in and out, but the cards here, like, they come out really nicely which is good and then you even have like this zip up pocket here for like cash and receipts and coins and this is also adjustable depending on how um, thick you have it and you have the pen loop and it did come with a pen this is ultra simple I haven't used it yet, I just put it in um, and you can like close it up like so and clasp so you can just have it like that or you can close it like this as well with the purse on the front I don't know, it's cute um, I know my like excitement for it kind of died down and now my hobo is kind of trashed so um, I don't know it is very beautiful uh, I just kind of like I'm a bit mad about buying it now. But yeah, this is supposed to be a pocket for your phone. It just it took a long time and the sort of excitement left. And then we had a few issues because Steph also bought her, hers and sent it to her address. And they sent mine and then they just forgot to send hers. They're like, oh, well, we've already sent one to that address, so that's it. <laughs> They totally forgot that hers was a completely separate order for a different cover. So it's taken her a long, extra long time to get hers. I don't know if she's gotten her accessory yet to, so it can actually be used as a bag. I don't know, I haven't heard from her about that, but... So both of us were a bit peeved. And the date kept getting putting back. I know, I understand issues with manufacturers happen and it's a very beautifully made planner in the end. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably just going to put it aside for now and keep it. We'll see if I get another Hobo or PB Weeks or something to use it with. But yeah, now I don't know. That's just my honest opinion. I'm kind of like meh about it now. But yeah, that's the Aura Estelle. In other planner news, I went to the Erin Condren store in Austin and I bought next year's planner. I'm so excited. They give you it in the box in the store as well. And in store you can customize everything, add name to your cover, colors, all the good stuff that you can do online. But it's all done in person and I didn't have to pay shipping or customs, <laughs> which was the upside. So this is the planner that I got for next year. You can take this off. This is silly. Just a sticker about the cover. Alright. So this is what I got. Uh, we could only get 18 a month currently. There was no um, just 2020. Oh yeah, my cover popped off. Um, but I was planning to get the 18 month anyway because the coil is larger. Uh, it is a very fat plan with the 18 months. But I plan to pull out... July through December, so it will still start in January. So pretty much I'm cutting all of this out. All of this is going and I might use it to play around with spreads and stuff. But otherwise that's how I like to do it with the 18 month. I got the black coil, I got the vertical and neutral. 
First I'm going to cover in the leopard print and it is lavender and charcoal. Uh, I love it. It harkens back to my very first Erin Condren when they only had the colourful. And um, yeah, and it, that was a lavender leopard print but the old leopard print design. So inside you get the new um, the new ruler which is gorgeous and it won't break. I think you've everyone's seen the new ones already but a cool tip I saw was that even they made this the ruler used to be the width of a box and now obviously it is wider. You see there but it is now the width of the length of a full box perfectly. You can see there. So if you're having issues with lining up your headers to the right amount, you could just use the ruler because it's the perfect height. Like what? That's so cool. So I'm going to be trying that out. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know on that tip. I saw it on a Facebook group. But everyone's seen these. What do I think of it? I am not... Yeah, I'm probably not that big a fan of the colours. I like the purple. I think I prefer having black tabs, but the grey is fine. I don't know. Especially with the black coil, the black tabs looked so much prettier. And then what about this? The extra note pages, because I, um, don't, I tape up these note pages, because first, I hate quotes. In my first one, I actually put art that I printed off the internet and just stuck it over the quotes because I hate them. But usually I stick these two together so I can just get to the monthly. But now I got this here. I'm happy the tab moved actually because I hate having the tab on the plastic on here. You can't write on it. You couldn't really white it out. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm glad that's gone. But yeah, I don't know. I'm considering trying out this page. I'll probably still tape all of these up but for now I'm gonna keep these pages here and see if I can do something with them. Probably wipe that out. I won't do both these. But I'm gonna try it out. Now I did try out my style in the new layout. So you can see the new layout is like that. Which is funny because this is what I said it would be. I said when we saw the shaded bottom Everyone was worried. I'm like, you know what? Look at the current neutral from last year, like current year. It's all like shit, um, outlines. So I thought this would probably just be outlined. And I was right. <laughs> I know, I'm being a jerk, but I was very happy about that. But here we go. I did this in the hotel in Austin after I got this. Um, I didn't use any white out. So. I, you can see the lines through it, but I didn't do any white out. I fill up the entire thing. I did my usual way, and it was perfect. I uh -huh. I think it came out pretty perfect, so I am not worried about next year at all. <laughs> Plus, the other thing is you could use this to line up your headers. So that's interesting. Like, that's the right size. But if you want to line up the header from the top of these headers, you probably want to move them down a little. Like there. Oh, my headers are actually wonky. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in. You can see my headers are actually wonky on here. So this one's correct, and then they get wonky. So what we do is you move, you use this sitting on your glitter headers on the bottom row. And you can just pop your glitter headers on top and then keep going. So that is one way to do it. But yeah, I am not worried about it. Next year, I still like it. And I know people say they hate the curves. So I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm going to cover up in stickers. So I'm barely going to look at the blank page. Um, everything is correct, which I feel like it's much easier in store. <laughs> Let's have a look at the notes. Here are the notes pages. I really like this design. I wish it was more of this, like the crystals. That's what they look like. Yep. Yeah, you got everything. You guys have seen the new Aaron Condren 
Yeah, I'm super excited to use this. I think it's gonna just, yeah, gonna continue on my up. My Erin um, Condrian. It is my favorite planner. So while I was in Austin and Texas, um, Steph and I, my friend, were able to go to Michael's and we picked up a whole bunch of stickers. So exciting! So Michael's is pretty hard to get outside of America or Canada, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can do try and do forwarding, but I find it really hard to get the forwarding to work with Michael's online. So um, yeah, it was a real treat to go and be able to actually buy these stickers that people talk about. So I picked up some One Ton and Million stuff and some Shine Sticker Studio. Um, so I got the like sticker plan and go one. I love how it's like foiling. So pretty and like so many cheap wontons because these are five dollars each for the books. So a lot of cheap wontons here. <laughs> I think her sheets are like five dollars each alone, so you get quite a lot for the money um, if you want to do so. So I got a bunch here, and I'm super happy with that. I also got the budget one. I feel like everyone would have seen these already, but I'm gonna go further in depth later because I also picked up a set, like a planning kit, a weekly sticker kit. Um, it's a really cute. Unicorn flower one, and I thought I would try planning in the new Erin Condren since I have all these blank pages that are gonna go to waste. I'm gonna do like a semi mock spread using this just to show you how I can use these weekly kits mostly just for myself to try out. So I think that'll be fun to use these stickers. And then I've never bought from Shine Sticker Studio, so it's nice to try out her stuff. And there's really cute um, food ones, you like coffee stickers, tea stickers. These have hollow, whereas the wontons have gold foil. Just a whole bunch of cute food stickers, and then also another plan and go one, which I really liked all the emojis in here. Um, the spending money in the happy mail, the birthday ones. Look at this bottom washi. Amazing. So I'm looking forward to putting these into my collection and trying those out. But if you have a Michaels near you, you can obviously go and have a look and pick these up. They're pretty much old news, but yeah, I'm so happy I finally have my own. So that is the end of the haul. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see me use all these stickers, like the SPC kits and everything, all have their planned weeks, so they will be coming out. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!